Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Budget Laptop. Starting at number 5. MSI Katana 15. Latest Gen 13th Gen Intel Core i7 processor, elite gaming and professional content creation, anywhere. Game, stream, and record without interruption. Simplistic design. Enjoy the latest generation Windows 11 home for your everyday needs. Asterisk MSI recommends Windows 11 Pro for business use. Beyond fast, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 GPU powered by the ADA architecture unleashes the full glory of ray tracing, which simulates how light behaves in the real world. FHD display. The 15.6-inch 16,9144 Hz display delivers fast refresh rate for better immersive experience. High-speed data, Thunderbolt 4 and DDR5-4000 memory for the fastest data transfer, system speed and responsiveness. Coming at number 4. Lenovo IdeaPad Slim. The best cheap laptop we've tested is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3i Chromebook 14, 2023. It's a great option for younger students or anyone needing a simple device for web browsing and video playback. Although there are many configuration options, we recommend the Core i3 model paired with an FHD touch-sensitive display, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of storage, which you can regularly find on sale for $400 to $500 US dollars on Lenovo's website. The cheaper configurations are fine if you have an extremely light workload, just know they'll stutter or slow down more quickly when multitasking and have a lower quality screen. The display of the Core i3 model mentioned above is bright enough for use in well-lit settings and is reasonably color accurate. The keyboard feels spacious but a tad mushy, and unfortunately, the touchpad is small and not always responsive. Its 1080p webcam is surprisingly good, and its battery life is outstanding at around 13 hours of light use. If you're unfamiliar with Chrome OS, know that this operating system is limited in the type of applications you can install, so you must ensure you can do everything through a Chrome browser or Android app. At number 3. EX Caliber PC 2023. For gaming within a budget price range, we recommend the ASUS TUF Gaming A16 Advantage Edition, 2023, a 16-inch all-AMD model. For around US$1,000, you can get this laptop with a Ryzen 7 7735H CPU, Radeon RX 7600 S GPU, 165Hz FHD display, 16GB of RAM, and 512GB of storage. This configuration delivers a smooth gaming experience at 1080p or 1440p, even in demanding AAA titles. Its display also boasts an impressive response time for clear image quality with minimal ghosting, and it supports variable refresh rate VRR, to limit screen tearing. You don't have to worry about thermal throttling, but this laptop does get fairly hot and loud. Thankfully, there aren't hotspots centered on the WASD cluster. It has Wi-Fi 6 wireless connectivity and an Ethernet port. The rest of the port selection is great as well, with plenty of USB-A and USB-C ports and a true HDMI 2.1 port. The 512GB storage in this configuration will likely fill up quickly with the size of recent titles, but you can get a 1TB SSD if you're willing to pay more. It's also worth noting that the storage, along with the memory, is user-replaceable, and there are two M.2 storage slots. As for the battery life, you can expect a little over an hour when gaming, which is fairly typical. Number 2 of my list Microsoft Surface Go If you like the 2-in-1 tablet form factor, get the Microsoft Surface Go 3, 2021. At 10.5 inches, this tablet PC is incredibly compact, making it easy to carry. It has a sharp IPS display with stylus support, an excellent 1080p webcam that puts pricier laptops to shame, and a Windows Hello facial recognition camera for quick logins. You can use it without the keyboard attached to save space and can pop it back on when you need to type something out. The keyboard is surprisingly comfortable to type on, the downside is that you have to buy it separately, and the same goes for the stylus. 
You can get this tablet with an Intel Pentium Gold or Core i3 CPU. Both are fine for simple tasks like web browsing, emails, and video playback, but don't expect to do anything remotely intensive. We recommend getting a model with 8GB of memory, as you'll get a much smoother experience with fewer slowdowns when multitasking. The battery lasts about 7 hours of light use, which isn't great but not bad for such a small device. Unfortunately, the port situation is grim, you only get one USB-C, a proprietary charging port, and a headphone jack. The Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5, 2021, is a better option if you only need a device for media consumption. It sports a gorgeous OLED display with full DCI P3 coverage, and its battery lasts nearly 8 hours of video playback. It's a little bigger at 13 inches but still compact and lightweight. The keyboard isn't nearly as good, and Chrome OS is more limited in the type of applications you can install, so you need to ensure you can do everything through a Chrome browser or Android app. And number 1. Acer Swift 3. The best budget laptop we've tested is the Acer Swift 314, 2020 a 14-inch Windows Ultra Portable. Acer's Swift laptops aren't exactly budget models, but because this one was released in 2020, the price has decreased considerably, so you're getting a lot for your money. It has a sturdy build, a thin and light design, and all-day battery life. The display looks sharp and gets reasonably bright, it's fine for most indoor use but not outdoors in broad daylight. Ports include two USB-As, one USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4, a full-size HDMI, and a headphone jack. Spec-wise, this laptop is available with an Intel 11th Gen CPU. These processors are two generations behind Intel's current offerings, but they're still more than adequate for general productivity tasks like text processing, web browsing, and video playback. The keyboard deck has a fingerprint sensor, so you can log in quickly and get straight to work. Our only major issue is that the webcam's video quality is bad, the image looks underexposed, and the microphone sounds staticky. Another option is the Lenovo IdeaPad 315, 2021. Like the Acer, it's a Windows Ultra Portable but with a slightly larger 15.6-inch display. It has a better webcam and a numpad, however, it doesn't support Thunderbolt 4, and the display looks a tad washed out. Its AMD Ryzen CPU performs well, and while its battery life isn't as good as the Acer's, it still lasts long enough to get you through a typical workday. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.